Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of uh, Going Fishing. Uh, today we're fishing strictly 100% with my own home tied jigs. So these here are some of the go to's. Take a look at that one there. That there is a white with a uh, feather. Actually, that's a little bit of that fox, fake bucktail. That stuff works super, super well. And white works super, super well. This is another one that we're going to be using today. <clears throat> this is my uh, Black Beauty uh, feather jig, uh, 30 second ounce. So these things work very well. And uh, we're going to show you how to do it today. I mean, uh, if you were looking to uh, pick up some uh, Epic made uh, jigs, uh, I got a shop on my Etsy.com. I'll have a link in the description below. But me and Nick, we're going to get out and go start doing some fishing. And we will see you when we're on the ice. Yeah! This looks good. Looks like it's about five inches here at shore. <clears throat> Definitely gonna need your cleats to come out here. Zero snow on this lake. <clears throat> looks kind of scary. Taking my time. Uh, you can see the cracks. That's telling me it's about four inches. <coughs> that don't look safe there at all. I'm scared. Right, we might want to get the auger out. We got set up just about 20 minutes ago. Richie back over there has already caught one. I had uh, my tip up go off. I got that great big quarter ounce Black Beauty jig tipped with uh, some uh, uh, smelt meat. That went off once, but it didn't hook himself. So it's not too shabby so far. Not bad start out here. Pan optics, 8.4 feet of water I'm in, and I got uh, one of my um, uh, Slayer 32nd uh, ounce ice jigs on that. So. All right, it's not bad, but there's a pressure ridge. Let me show you. One bump with the spud bar on that pressure ridge goes through so this is farthest we are going on this trip so all right too naked all right people got one Ooh, that's a big one big one big one big one all right Ooh, that's a nice chunky first fish of this my season up here All right, check that dude out, people. Woohoo! <laughs> Going fishing ice jig, 30 second ounce. Don't look how fat. I'm not gonna keep any fish today, because we're gonna fish tomorrow too, so. Let's let this guy go. Woohoo! Got him on that guy. I made these specially for ice fishing. That way you can tip your favorite plastic or your uh, favorite wax worm or bait. 
and that feather action I mean you got action on it even if you're not jigging it that feather just waves in the water even if it's just sitting there let's see this pretty cool jigs hope you try some out just as I shut it off there he is Yay. Got one. Fish on it. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one. That is a big one, folks. Oh, that's a good one. I'm getting them on my Slayer, the white one. Nicholas got another one. This one's bigger than my last one. Woohoo, baby! It is a nice one. They're a lot harder to get in on this thin ice. It's just facts of life. Come on, baby. And these are not small fish. Come on. Man, that's a nice one. All right, I got to measure this dude. 19 inches, people. 19 inches. Going fishing jigs. People, I was, I was taking a drink. This fish came out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't have time to even react. Oh. Alright, this one here I got on my Black Beauty. Another nice, nice, nice fish. It's probably my smallest one today. But these fish are fat. That's example, Paul. Yeah, I'll measure him. He's the smallest one I got. Oh. Let's let you go. <laughs> Good job, dude. Nice. Aaron's caught all his on the dead stick. Nice. I think I'm finally getting one There you go, dude. Bam! Nice job. All right. All right, I'm switching it up now. I'm using my Black Beauty ice jig. Try this guy out right now. Jesus, God. The sign coming. Right. He's walking back. Well, this is a good one, guys. Man, tearing it up. Tearing it up today. Yeah, that's a definitely a good one. Wow, that's a big one. He might go 20. This one might go 20. See, I'm not... Well, you can see him under the ice. Pretty dang cool. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Let's see if I can get him. Let's see if I can get him. So this one here is on my Black Beauty again. So I got two on my white assassin and this is my second one now on my black beauty cannot horse these things in that's a fact of life like I said it's hard to get them up through this thin ice Come on, buddy. 
He's not the biggest one yet. He's definitely the biggest fighter. <clears throat> All right, he's almost tired, I think. We only got six pound on this one. All right, definitely a two and a half pounder. That's a fact. Another 18 incher. Not even a mid morning update, folks. Just a little bit over an hour, and it's been fantastic. I've caught four already two of them on my Black Beauty ice jig, and two of them on my White Assassin ice jig. It's been pretty gosh darn epic. I had two hits on that big quarter ounce. I don't know, maybe those were trout that set off my tip up, but I got something on there now that the trout are not going to mess with so all right we are going to tune back in a bit and i'm sure we're going to start catching some more these people are too quiet over here this is chris with his first fish ice fishing nice Good job. That is awesome. Sweet. Right. Oh, that was Chris's strange. first fish. Aaron's first fish. Everybody's hey, caught. They're waiting on Nick. <laughs> he jumped out. All right. Man, this is an epic day, folks. Epic day. All right. Let's get back to business. It's ready for Mount Everest. <laughs> right, go home. Right, another second. Oh, he jumped through. All right, Nick. Black beauty. Hi. Man, that fish that guy got over there is giant. Do you know that guy? No, I just went over to his visit. Uh -huh. Alright, let's uh, get him get it on. That black one works good, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here, let me take a picture with my phone. I think he's got one. You got one? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, that last two I got were five feet up. You caught uh, just halfway down. I'm seven and a, eight and a half feet over there. Oh shit! Well, the first one that I caught was. <coughs> under the ice like two feet down yep. and the second one i caught was like two feet off the bottom yeah and then Aaron was dead stick. yeah uh, the last one i got was dead stick when i was walking back to my pole so richie was kicking my arse to begin two to zero now it's four to two four to two <laughs> all right and it didn't take Aaron uh 35 years to catch a fish out wow. of here now you're just cutting below the belt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> All right. He's right there. Got him. Fish on. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a big one. All right, I don't know if you can see it swimming under the ice. Pretty cool. All right, he's not as big. 
But all of these fish are nice out here, folks. Every last one of them. Black Beauty going fishing jig. 17. Got one on me. Got it. That's right. Whoa, those are real. Fish on. Right, it's a big one. Got this one on my 13 fishing again. Uh, Archangel. And a white on fishing ice jig. It's not happy. Not happy. I got tangled up in my other line. Man, that's a big one. I got a cluster, everybody. I have got me a cluster. Come, to, come on, buddy. Come on. Fish do not stop fighting. Going fishing white. Uh, pinkish assassin. It's a cut bow. You can see the lines on them underneath. Nice big 18, 19 inch fish. Okay, let's get him over here. Yeah, freedom. Check out this pressure ridge, folks. It's all open now. And there's some people that cross that pressure ridge. If it gets any wider, they may not get back across. It is scary. Look at that. Scary. This looks scary. Oh crap, people, look at this. We got open water right here. Walking down, you fall through. I think it might be okay here. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was crazy. Hard to tell how thick it is here. But it's not as thick here as the other area. See, it starts dropping off pretty fast here. Shouldn't have to go out far. It looks scary to me. It's like yeah, it's still a good three inches. That, you can see how thick it is that. How far are we? I bet we're about 15, 20 feet here. All right, fire up your fish finder. Let's see how deep it is. It's about four inches. <coughs> Serious? Twenty feet, it, it is. What's it say? Twenty feet. Wow. Twenty feet this close to shore. This is good, dude. All right, let's check it out. <clears throat> you want two holes? Uh, I'll just have one. Okay. No. 
too deep for pack. <clears throat> I'm seeing some right away here. And I'm not even down to the bottom yet. But there. I'm 22 feet. <clears throat> I already saw signs of life. And then I'm using this bigger eighth ounce jig too. Tip with some of this shad actually. So two of them swim through. Uh, that's a good sign. I'm not even having anything down there yet. Oh man, that's a big one. That is a big one. I shut it off when he came. Oh, this is a real nice one. Ooh, that's a nice chunk, huh? Look at that one. Thank you. Thank you for getting that. Rock beauty. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, and he, oh good. He got off. <laughs> Did you see what happened there, Nick? He slipped back in the water, started taking off, and he got off right there. Uh, so I didn't even have to take him off the hook. That was an epic release. All right, they are here, Nick. They are here. 20, 22 feet of water, folks. So they move deeper in the day. All right, where'd the, where they at? <coughs> Good job, good job. Good, good job. All right, let's get this back down there. Which one was that on, the jigging? I was just dropping this black beauty down and I saw him swimming and he came after it. And I just had one on me, guys. And he went away. Yeah, we just got no service whatsoever here on T-Mobile. <clears throat> T-Mobile sucks at 11 mile. Oh, there he is, he's on me. Got one, fish on. Black Beauty is tearing it up, people. Black Beauty all day long. Black Beauty all day long. Another typical 11 mile, 18, 19 incher. Comes. Let's see if we can get him now. Alright, it's not cool out here. It's not cool out here. Alright, let's get this guy out. Fishing. All right, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty nice one. He's not as big. Yeah. All right. He hit a bigger one. Bigger jig. He hit the hair jig. Uh, one that with that new stuff I tied up. So, yes. Yep. 
all white. Just tied that one on. Put me in the double digits, Nick. Nice. It's ten. everybody we are wrapping this one up that wind is just freaking absolutely horrible 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 so and it's a warm wind and it's uh freaking deteriorating that ice very very quickly so did epic today the fish calendar said poor fishing it was excellent fishing so my uh, going fishing jigs absolutely killed it today so all right we're gonna go head back up to the cabin now and uh we will see you in a little bit Nick. Boom. <laughs>